I think I, I think we got him through this term. We would always show shots of him jogging. Him in aviator shades and like a, like you paint him as a young geriatric. We were creating a story there that we didn't know anything about. You know, we were so that's that's I think that's probably it. Look what we did. We got Trump back. I am a hundred percent gonna say it. And I hundred percent believe it that if it wasn't for saying that I don't know that Trump would have got voted out. Our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? So our next thing is gonna be for climate change awareness. Do you think it's gonna be just like a lot of like fear? Like Climate. Yeah, fear sells. Fear sells. No one ever says it, those things out loud, but it's obvious. And what is it you do? A technical director. It's one step down from director. It's our. It's going to be our focus. Like, uh, like our, our focus was to get Trump out of office. Without saying it, that's what it was. Trump uh, was his hand was shaking or whatever, and he was losing it. He's unfit. We were creating a story there. So that's. That's. I think that's probably it. So I'm standing here at 30 Hudson Yards. Warner Media is in right there. That's CNN's corporate headquarters. We're in New York City. Jim Shudo just walked out. Funny enough, I asked him about the videos we have just obtained of a CNN director, Charlie Chester, on tape for years. We've heard that CNN is the most trusted name in news, but a CNN director is on tape telling us that they're propaganda, helping a certain political candidate employees admitting what we've always known to be true. This time, it's on tape. Look what we did. We got Trump back. I am 100% going to say it. And I 100% believe it, that if it wasn't for saying that, I don't know that Trump would have got voted out. I really don't think so. Oh, really? I think if COVID, ha I think if COVID hadn't happened, it wouldn't have mattered what cover, and Trump would still be in office. Oh. I, I, no, I believe no, I, I, I came to CNN because I wanted to be a part of that. So Chester says that CNN is responsible for getting Trump out of office and helping Biden through his term. Listen to this tape. Chester and Hoffman believe CNN managed to get Trump out of office, their words, and Chester calls CNN propaganda. Yeah, I mean, like Trump, we did it. Like when Trump uh, was, uh, I, I don't know, like his hand was shaking or whatever like that. We brought in like so many medical people to like all tell a story that like it was all speculation that he was like neurological damage, like that, that he was losing it, he's unfit to you know whatever. We were we were creating a story there that we didn't know anything about. You know, we were so that's that's I think that's probably it. You know? um, we had nothing else to run with at that time. We were like just taking shots off the bow, just hoping something would take, you know. I guess I have a, a, a confession. I, I worry about Biden and his, and, his men, and his health, I guess. Your news health? What? You no, said, I said Biden, our, our president. Like, I, I want to just, like, literally, oh, I just want to, like, take care of him and make sure he's okay. Like, he's definitely, the whole thing of him running during the entire press, like, run for the campaign, showing him jogging was obviously a deflection of his age, and they're trying to make him, like, oh, unhealthy. Is that what we did? I, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? We would always show shots of him jogging. Yeah. And that I'm healthy, you know, blah, blah, blah. And him in aviator shades and, like, a, like you paint him as a young geriatric. I, like, so many arguments about, like, my dad be like, you're, um, you know, you're voting in Kamala Harris because he's going to die in the presidency. And I'm like, that kind of Die. Right, I don't think it's But I'm die. okay with that. Right. I'm okay with that. I think she could She'd be probably a bitch. be better, but she probably could be a bitch in like a board meeting. Yeah. And you'd hate her as a boss. But she's real and better than what we've had. Right. Regardless. Yeah. I don't I don't see I think I I think we got him through this term. Even after Biden was sworn in, CNN still seemed to maintain a bias in the reporting according to Chester. And then so there are complaints that like we're not covering that Biden trip up the stairs. Oh, did you? Like we talked about it briefly, but... But you talk about that briefly. You don't make that a huge Okay, story. so but the, the fact that we talk about the truck 
tripping is part is a bigger nuance. It's a nuanced conversation because did, that's a sign. Did we of, harp on Trump tripping? I think we talked about it a little bit. As long as we talk about it a little bit with Biden, then I think we're. But like we didn't cover it all in Don. Like we didn't talk about it. Whereas if it had been Trump tripping up the stairs. Chester didn't just take credit for Trump's loss. He also alleges it was CNN's, quote, focus. They were focused on getting Trump out of office. Chester also believes that in the current news cycle, there is, quote, COVID fatigue. Chester saying that CNN has a game plan to fix that fatigue. I think there's just like a COVID fatigue. So like whenever a new story comes up, they're gonna latch onto it. They've already announced in her office that once the public is will be open to it. We're going to start focusing mainly on climate, um, uh, climate like global warming, and like that's going to be our next like um, I don't know like what's the word? Um, it's our it's going to be our focus. Like uh, like our, our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? So our next thing is going to be for climate change awareness. What does that look like? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I have a feeling it's just going to be like constantly showing videos of like decline and ice and weather warming up and like the effects it's having on the economy and, and really talking about that? The head of the network like just... Who's that? Is that Zucker? Zucker, yeah. I imagine that He's got his council, and they've all like discussed like where they think. Um, so that's like the next pandemic, like story, like that will, yeah, that will will be to death. But that one's got longevity. You know what I mean? It's not like there's a definitive ending to the pandemic, or you know, like it'll taper off to a point that it's you know not a problem anymore. Climate thing is going to take years, so. They'll probably be able to milk that for quite a bit, you know, so, we'll see. So, climate change overload. Okay. Be prepared, it's coming. <laughs> Story, like right now, um, we had an inside track right now where two stories are going to be pushed. Climate change is going to be the next COVID thing for CNN. We're going to we're going to hone in. Focus on that. I love it. But that's, but that's a fair you thing saw to that focus on. But to commit to that as a network. You said it's going to be like the new COVID. I feel like, well that's the way it was built. Um, unless that was just a call to arms to get people to start writing and, and then we'll assess it I don't know but do you think it's gonna be just like a lot of like fear like time it yeah fear sells Jeff Zucker I think you need to change your motto the most trusted name in news your own employees your own director is on tape actually telling the American people what we all believe to be true the question is our focus was to get Trump out of office right without saying it that's what it was why isn't Charlie Chester willing to say the private part publicly He'll say it privately, but he insists it's important to conceal it, to hide it from people. And that's the question, Mr. Zucker. Why is it so important to hide the truth of what you're really trying to do from the people?